when you fucked up, when you didn't do what you're supposed to do, what other people thought you were supposed to do, whatever it is, maybe you just laid in the couch, looked at your phone, wasted time instead of doing something that's more valuable, important. How do you treat yourself then? What's going on inside of yourself then? You put yourself down, beat yourself up, mentally, emotionally, right? I think most people do, at least it's like normal in society. But why? Why are you doing that? Has it helped beating yourself to become better? Because if you were nice to yourself, you would just be a slob, right? You wouldn't do amount to anything. But the thing is, it's actually, basically, it's just a result of the conditioning that you received growing up. It's kind of like everything is a product of that until you get some new conditioning or new awareness or change it in some way. Then it's changed, right? But it's kind of like beating up the computer, running whatever program it is that you downloaded when it's starting up, when you actually clicked on the thing, the icon, run this on startup. So that's what it's going to do, right? So it's kind of the same with you. It's just following the programming. But the way to get out of the programming is not by beating yourself up, putting yourself down, fighting it, trying harder, right? It's with, first of all, awareness, yeah. And then it's with compassion, right? It's actually with being kind to yourself and feel what's going on and be with that. That's how the programming start to, that's how the program start to uninstall in that metaphor, right? It's a little bit funny because that's like the one thing haven't really tried, right? Or you just believe that, yeah, right? Then if I accept it, so it's just gonna be like that. But it's not about, it's not about accepting that, oh, I'm just always not gonna do what's required of me or what I could do in a way better it's not about that it's about embracing you and that emotions that's coming up inside of you because that's what's in the way whatever happened when you were little right maybe your mom shamed you when you didn't do your tasks at home when you didn't do what she told you to do. Maybe your dad yelled at you, right? And you took it all personally. And this means I'm not good. And this and this created this imprinting emotionally and mentally. And then this pattern has just changed to the adult version now. And it's still going on. And you don't need to know the whole story of it. You don't need to understand every mechanism of it. You just need to meet yourself with compassion and being allowing the emotions to come up and to be with them, 
to hold your hand through it, so to speak. Instead of punishing the one who's hurting inside of you, it's about embracing it, right? Loving it. If you see a kid is crying, is hurting, something happened, you're not going to go over to that kid and then punish it. So why are you doing that with yourself? It's your inner kid. It's basically running the show. And it's the one that's hurting. So why are you punishing him or her? So why not give the one who's hurting more love instead of less? Instead of punishing. And then see what happens if you actually commit to that for a while. 